Hello and welcome to Java with Jim. I'm Jim Reese, Director of Business Development at Offit Kerman. Joined here today with Daniel Heck, Growth Consultant at Cruise & Co. Daniel, nice to see you this morning. Uh, it's a pleasure to be here with you today. Yeah, thanks for joining us. Um, so Daniel, tell us about Cruise & Co. What do you do there and what makes your company different from other companies in your industry? Oh, perfect. Um, so Cruise & Co, we're a, um, a small business consulting firm. Uh, so we do a lot of work with businesses anywhere between um, 1 million to 100 million in revenue. Um, and we're really just built by uh, foreign business owners. So everybody on the team has um, either owns a business currently or has or owned a business and then exited. Um, so we have a really good repertoire um, of people who just have that that strong skill set in that in the industry. Um, so my my personal background is I owned a, a food service company for 15 years. Um, I exited about 18 months ago. Um, my uh, my uh, future wife is um, says I'm too young to retire, so oh, I have to go do something. Um, so I've known um, the whole team at Cruising Co for years and years. Um, I actually were I actually was a client of theirs for many years um, and I said hey let me go join the team and just have a good time with them and it's just like it's just fun to be working with a, just a just a group of people who really just get it so it's just it's just like a great atmosphere to be at and I'm just so happy to be there yeah good story thank you for sharing um so Daniel when it comes to Cruise and Co what would you say you're most proud of um, I think the most proud of is how open the communication is between everybody in the organization. Um, I've I obviously worked with a lot of businesses um, on the consulting side over the years, and then even in my own organization. And getting people to open up and really talk about the the difficult conversations is tough. Um, but it's nice that everyone in that in this group just comes at it, and we're willing to just kind of like put everything on the table, um, and we kind of put our egos aside and are really really willing to dig into the. The, the things that most people don't want to dig into. So I, and I just I like that. I like that we're really open with each other. Um, it creates a great atmosphere for uh, for growth within, the, within our organization as well. Yeah, yeah, nice. Um, so, you know, the uh, uh, economy is what it is. Um, interest rates uh, seem to be holding steady where they are. Um, you know, the labor market is still very tight. Uh, so I, I, I'm sure all of those outside forces are keeping you and Cruise and Co busy. What do the next six months look like for you guys? So right now we're we're actually in growth mode. Um, we're we're like on a like a rocket ship, so it's pretty nice. Right now our big thing in the next six months is we'll have a book out, um, kind of detailing our system. So right now. Um, the only people, the only way people have access to our information is to go through someone like myself and just learn it one, you know, person to person. Um, so everything's getting documented into an actual like manual, so anybody can access that information and run with it. Um, so we're really excited about kind of rolling that out and uh, sometime in the next six months or so. Sounds nice. Sounds like a uh, you know a, a a roadmap maybe something like that for success. It's going to be a, just a good manual about how just how to operate a business. Um, it's it's got everything in there. Um, there's I mean, there's a lot of material out there in the world that already kind of exists in this 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 frame. Um, we're just hoping we can present it in a more um, practical manner for business owners. Great, exciting. All right, so Daniel, what do most people watching this video not know about you? Um, my fun fact about myself is that I'm currently trying to visit the state high point in all 50 states. So I'm in. I've done about. 27 of them, I want to say. Um, so I'm working through the list. Um, some of the some of the states are a lot easier than others. Uh, Delaware, obviously, one of the easiest. Um, I did Florida a couple of weeks ago. That's more of just having to drive um, to the little nowhere in the Panhandle. Um, and we're working our way up to uh, to like Denali. So that one's going to be the probably the end of the list. But uh, and, yeah. And so what what's the highest point so far? Uh, the highest one so far would be um, probably West Virginia. It might be that it, that that's a very misleading question too, because a lot of times you'll have a point. So okay, so actually, technically, the highest point I've been to is Nebraska. So that's that's where it's kind of misleading. But Nebraska, it's a field um, with like a lot of bison. So you um, there's no hiking involved. You have to just basically drive to the middle of nowhere in in Nebraska. But it, because it's near the Rockies, it's it's like at a really high elevation. So it's kind of mm -hmm. yeah. 
It's kind Very of interesting. I got to tell you, I've never heard of that one. So uh, I'm not that's that's for another conversation, how you came about that. But uh, yeah. sounds like an interesting uh, project for you. Um, well, listen, Daniel, thanks for spending time with us. Thanks for sharing information about Cruise and Co and uh, and your current project, finding uh, the, the the highest elevation in every state. That's uh, really something I must tell you. Very cool. Um, and I hope to see you soon. All right. Appreciate it. Thank you so much. All right. Bye.